What's up, my fans? This is Stan Series, and in today's video, we'll be going through some latest news of the film side and the Disney Plus TV side of the MCU. And these do sound amazing, so let's get into the news of today. So, obviously, from the last couple of days, we've had, obviously, like I said, we've had some news. So, obviously, I'm going to start off with the film side, obviously, of the MCU. So, let's see uh, what they got. So, our first one up, they're talking about a um, Spider-Man 3, the MCU version. They're saying about that we'll get our first look in December of Spider-Man 3. And it says this is all going to be happening in, a, um, in Brazil. Obviously, it looks like Sony might be doing a um, press conference or whatever you call it, really, in Brazil. To obviously to show something off. What will they show off? I'm not pretty sure. I know they've got into filming, but... I couldn't thought there'd be any um, a short teaser, like a, a couple of scenes they'll show. I mean, they could be that, or it could be the poster, or, or if they wanted to, reveal the name of the film. Uh, or really, they could just show all three of them. Maybe they might show some scenes of, and some artwork, you know, what characters are going to look like. Maybe, also like I said, the title of the name, and maybe a little info, like what the film's about. Could be like that. But, obviously, um, we have to wait in December to see if that is true. So, it'll be cool to see. Our next one up is the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. They have added uh, an actress named... Uh, I mean, I would have to spell her first name. Uh, X-O-C-H-I-T-L. Um, Gormis. I'm sure if her last name is right. So, they're saying that she's been added in a mysterious world. And I've been seeing people jumping on now saying that, oh, I could see her playing um, one of the um, young Avengers members, uh, American Chavez. Well, Char well, her name in the comics, uh, her hero name is uh, America, and then her last name is uh, C-H-A-V-E-Z. Now, um, this story's been going around for quite some time now of this character, American appearance in this film, because obviously with the multiverse and... And in which I've learned about, like, a couple of years, like, a couple of months ago now, I've learned about, oh, her origin is she's from another universe, which I didn't know that. Because the version I've seen is from the anime uh, Marvel White Wising series, uh, the anime one. Uh, her origin in that was she was from another planet and never said nothing about from another universe. So that's pretty uh, amazing when I learned about that. Like, oh, she's from another universe. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if she's playing her, that could be cool. And, like I said, she has been uh, teased. Obviously, um, well, not teased. She's been uh, mentioned. Obviously, fans keep thinking, oh, she could be in it and all that. So, if she is, that'd be cool. Now, other one, our last one for the new film side, is the um, from Full Love and Thunder. Now, the star, obviously, the star, Chris Hemsworth, has uh, revealed when the filming's going to start. So, on the, a little short video, I'm not going to play it here, but obviously, uh, this, obviously the, um, the this news and the video, obviously they've been in the link. So, according, obviously, uh, and he's stuck on this thing, he said about that the filming will start in January the, of next year. So, obviously, they'll be filming in the beginning of next year. Obviously, they couldn't do it now, because obviously with the pandemic still going on and all that. But, obviously, with some stuff doing filming, so obviously they've got a day now to, to do their filming. Um, and he has brought on some words of he did, like, um, he did say about, obviously, he, uh, he saw the script, obviously, he saw the script of the film, um, now, obviously, there's a bit here, um, obviously, I don't, I don't recall he was saying this stuff in the viewer, but, well, wait what he says here, I'm very excited to try to do something different, you know, the last three films we could, uh, C-E-R-T-A-I-N-L-Y, that's the word, uh, put, pushed, yeah, I think that's right, pushed the, all right, E-N-V-E-L-O-P-E, -E, that's the word, and created different, oh, let me see, different versions of the character, and now people expect some criminal changes, well, I'll spell it again, yeah, D-R-A-M-A-T-I-C, yeah, and then also he teased about, so we got our work cut out, is that, well, I don't know. That, I don't know if he's meant to say scene or because the word is S E N. I would say S E. So, 
Yeah, so that's pretty amazing then. So they're going to start filming it in the beginning of next year. Sounds like, obviously, we're going to have something different with Chris Hemsworth's character 4. Because, obviously, he's, we've seen uh, him changing a lot, the 4 character. We've seen him gone through a lot of changes in the um, MCU. So, wonder what else they'll change for him. Um, but that's all they really said. Um, in the video, you just bring up about, obviously, Natalie Portman back and all that. But nothing much different. So, that's all from that one. Now let's get into the Disney Plus MCU side. So we got two news, obviously from the One Division and two from Falcon and Winter Soldier. But we'll start off with the One Division. So looks like they they must have got into talks with the actress who's playing the adult version of Spectre, obviously Mo Monica Wambo. Yeah, if I'm saying the um, that character's real name right. Um, the actress brings up about the um, this sub so really. She says about, that has been a childhood dream to be a Marvel superhero. I can even remember, I've always said that I want to be a superhero. And then, and then when the MCU opened up, excuse me, I thought, well, I think I was in college. And then it was like, oh, I want, oh, I want to be a Marvel superhero. That's what she put. Then she went on saying, I'm very grateful to be a part of this universe. And Monica Rambo is such a badass. She's such a badass in the comics. And I just can't even believe this is happening. This is four on action movie mixed with sitcoms. It's wild. So, sounds like that's pretty cool then. So, sounds like obviously, the other, obviously she's going to be a badass in the show. Um, I'm hoping we'll, like, I mean, um, I'm hoping uh, we see her turn into Spectre, but we might not see her turn into Spectre, or we might see her have her powers, but they're not suit up, but, because maybe they might save her for Captain Marvel 2 when we see her suit up, and, like I said, if she does get her powers in this, then, obviously, we'll be like, okay, we might just see the powers kick in, and then we'll see her suit up in the Captain Marvel 2. But that is cool for her to say this as well. Obviously, uh, saying about the um, it's a uh, action movie mixed with sitcoms. It's wild. That's pretty cool to hear. That is pretty cool to hear about that one. Then our other one here, we've got. Um, it's a confirm. It sounds like it's a confirmed date for the show. The rumor is going around saying that um, it's going to be on Disney Plus in December. Um, okay, that sounds interesting. It sounds like it's all coming from the, um, well, the um, a new trailer that came out recently on the Disney Plus, like saying coming this November. Uh, that must be showing you that it must be coming on in December. I'm just going to quickly look with on here. That's what it sounds like on this. I muted the thing anyway because um, obviously um, there's, it's just a bunch of things on there anyway. Hmm. Okay, I don't see it on there. I mean, I'm just trying to get to it, but no. Nah, but really, it sounds like in the video, it's just making that um, it's going to be in December. But hmm, I'll be surprised if it is in December because I thought because we got the Mandalorian, the uh, not this Friday, uh, next Friday. So and obviously you've got eight episodes as normal. So yeah, I could see Mandalorian, uh, obviously being the on the obviously. Um, oh, the words I'm trying to get is, uh, I couldn't see One Division and Mandalorian bumping into each other. So I couldn't expect, like, oh, when episode 5 of Mandalorian's on, and then, oh, here you are, first episode of One of One Division. I thought it wouldn't have been like that. i got a funny feeling it is, Mandalorian will be finished first, and then One Division will start after it. Maybe not straight away, but... Because I'm sure Mandalorian, if it starts next Friday, I'm sure... Oh, wait, I'm sure he finishes in December, so... Yeah, it could be, like, a week after the show starts, so... If it comes out of that one, but what is that way to say on that one? Now, for the Falcon and Winter Soldier news. So, our first off is, they have added an actor from The Gifted. If you never saw that show, it was an, it was a, obviously an X-Men Marvel show. And pretty cool. Last for two seasons. Wish could have got a third one, but, well, that didn't happen. Well, the actor who was in the show, well, I wouldn't say he was in here a lot, but he, he had some appearances in it. This actor, Danny, and his last name is uh, R-A-M-I-R-E-Z. 
Um, he's being added to the show, and he's in a well. The wall is in a um, a poor vo- void wall. I don't have to spell that out. P i v o t a l. Um, I don't know what that's. Uh, um, I don't know what that kind of wall means. I, I think it, does that mean like a cameo wall or, you know? But really, from what I'm getting on this, obviously, um, to talk about is okay. So he's in the show and wonder what his wall is. So because I was in the A telling you here, so pretty interesting. I saw one thing on the Inst- I think it was Instagram or Facebook. One point I was saying that oh, he could be playing a a newer Falcon character, like there's someone else who took on the mantle. And his version is he was a spinnerman on, and then he actually had pa- got gained powers from it. And I'm sure from the looks of it, he got his own wings, you know, his old falcon wings, and he's got a falcon with him, like his own red bird. But obviously, no, yeah, was it red bird? Uh, falcon calls him. Oh, I should really remember that. But you know, the the bird sidekick. So it looks like he has his own proper psych, his own bird, like not a drone one. Well, obviously, falcon had a proper bird in the um, comics, but. Obviously, they changed it for the films. So, uh, I don't know what else to go on with this, but... Mm, okay. Like I said, from that one post thing, but... I don't know. Was that a way to, um, obviously, when we see the um, show? Then our last one on here, it says... Only a little video showing you US agent in the public fighting someone. It's like he's got someone down on the ground and then booming, and then using his shield to bash the guy. You can't see it because... So- the person who took it must have took it from their building, and the, the, obviously the um, it's very far away to see. Like, mm, is it is U.S. agent killing the guy, or is he just beating him? Because, well, obviously um, it's far away to see, so we don't know what kind of damage he's doing to him. But that is pretty amazing. Really, we're getting a foot, some more footage of the show. Well, obviously not in actual footage, but obviously um, some set set a set um, going on. I'm still looking forward to this. I'm still ashamed we never got this this year because obviously they've they've said um, they need to wait till Black Widow's out and then they can put this on because like I've been saying, I bet you there's something in the show that will spoil Black Widow if they had this out first because who knows? It could be like a tease for the Thunderbolts because who knows? If US Agent doesn't die or Berezimo really, they could tease that, oh, both of them could be joining the team and you could learn that crop uh, Taskmaster's part of that team because like, I'm still hoping in, obviously in the Black Widow one I'm hoping Black Widow not Black Widow Taskmaster doesn't die in it because he looks like a villain you could use for multiple films you know and that goes for these two like US Agent and Baron Zemo because it's second appearance for Baron Zemo but I hope he gets a, he gets more appearances after this one like I hope he gets a third fourth I don't care how many appearances he has I want him to have a lot of appearances and Obviously, then it shows that, oh, thank God, Marvel is not killing their MCU villains anymore. <laughs> That's what I really wanted, but obviously, and, you know, the Marvel's like, they're like, oh, let's just kill this character off. I don't care if they've got one, they've got a one appearance. I don't care. Just kill, just kill him. Uh, Mary Mysterio, uh, I know he, he looks like he's dead in that film, but can we just uh, play it off and say, like, in the future, say, oh, look, he's here. He faked his death. <laughs> Which I'm so believing he's going to be back in Spider-Man 3 because no way you killed him off. There's no way he's dead. And that's all of today's video, really. So, all that stories, all those, um, obviously, topics, those will be down in the description below, so you could jump onto them and have a look for yourself. Obviously, the videos for some of them, they'll be there as well, so you can really watch them. Um, I also give you thoughts on this, like, what do you think of these news? What do you think about the Spider-Man, obviously, a teaser, obviously, some teaser going in December, the Doctor Strange one? Like, do you think she's playing the character? Uh, like, the... Obviously for the for Love of Thunder and also for the two Disney Plus shows. Like, what do you think of that? These news. And do you think there's one division coming out in December? Obviously, give your thoughts down below on all this and we can discuss this if you want. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Share this out to your fans. So if they um, got tired of watching someone, you know, they've always watched or they want to watch something different, show them one of my videos. And if they like it, they can subscribe to this channel. And if you are new to this channel, this is what I do. I do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the trailers, the Super Bowl TV spots, the clips, if I ever get a chance to, and then, well, spoiler reviews. That's it. Spoiler reviews, but I only touch the film side of those, both, obviously, the Marvel and Transformers ones. I said I might do a Disney Plus um, spoiler reviews for the Marvel ones, but I haven't really decided yet. The spoilers, like, for trailers and the 
well, TV spots, clips. I avoid those because I don't want to be shown a lot if it, for, for obviously for a film or a TV show. And last but not least, before you go, if you see me last more video, click here, my channel. Make sure you click the bell. It's going to be notified when new videos are up. And jump here to see me last Transformers video. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, news video. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Peace.